Let's talk about triangles and the HP prime. Solving triangles is something that the engineer needs to do all the time. The HP prime comes equipped with a beautiful triangle solution app in which you enter three of the parameters of the triangle and it will solve for the other three. However, a nice application that it is in engineering, the solution of a triangle is not the final goal, it's only a stepping stone towards the solution of something else. So in engineering, we need to collect the results of the solution of the triangle and continue with something else. I have not found a way of getting the results out of that uh, app. So if you know how to do that, please share it. That is why I shot this brief video. Back in 1975, Hewlett Packard released the HP 25 that was a cheaper alternative to the superb HP 65. In uh, 2017 American dollars, the 65 would have gone for $4,000 and the cheaper HP 25 went only for about $1,000 of today's dollars, right? Among the goodies that came with the 25 was a booklet with short programs that the user could type and use until you turned it off because it lost the memory then. One of the programs in that booklet that I used over and over and translated successively to the HP 67, to the HP 41C, then to the basic sharp calculator and more recently to the HP 50G was a suite of five little programs to solve any triangle. This video is about those programs in an HP Prime reincarnation. Do you need to type them? No, no. I am sharing the programs in the description of this video so you don't have to type them. Just copy and paste them in your connectivity kit window and transfer them over to your calculator. However, these programs are shared on an as-is basis. No guarantees made other than I have been using them for many years Use them at your own risks. Naming convention. These five programs use a sensible but not traditional convention to naming sides and angles in a triangle. You travel the triangle clockwise or counterclockwise starting on any side. And that side will be automatically side one. And automatically all the other elements in the triangle as you travel are side one angle one, side two angle two, side three angle three. Check it out. That is a triangle. I choose this side as being side one and I choose to travel that triangle clockwise. And then this will be angle 1, side 2, angle 2, side 3, angle 3. I have chosen to travel the triangle this way. I could have chosen this other side to be side 1, and then this would be side 1, angle 1, side 2, angle 2, side 3, angle 3. I could have chosen to travel the triangle counterclockwise, and that's what you have. Side 1, angle 1, side 2, angle 2, side 3, angle 3. I think you've got the idea. Who are those five programs? All the programs return the solution as a list of six values. As you may have guessed, the six values are side one, angle one, side two, angle two, side three, angle three. If you know the three sides of the triangle, use SSS. Wait, SSS, I read there, SSS, X. Well, why the X? Because for some reason, the HP Prime would not accept SSS as a name for a program, so I added that uh, Spurious X, so bear with me. If you know two sides and the angle between them, use SAS. If you know two angles and the sign between them, use SAA. If you know one side, the following angle, and the next one, use SAA. If you know two sides and the following angle of the second side, use SSA. This is an interesting case because these problems more often than not have two solutions and both are reported by the program. Let's have an example on SSS. Use these examples to make sure that the programs were installed properly. Let me begin with the essential 345 right triangle. We know the sides, we enter them to the SSS program. When I click enter, I get side 1, angle 1, side 2, angle 2, side 3, angle 3. And nice. Normally, I assign the results of SSS to a list like uh, L1 in this case. That way, I can extract any value to proceed with the computation C. This way, I assigned the list with the six values to L1. That way, I can say things like, take the fourth element in L1 and assign that to the variable name alpha. That would be an angle, and that's excellent. There's our triangle, and these are the sides 3, 
90 degrees, 4, 36 degrees, 5, 53 degrees. Actually, 36 is more like 37, but that's fine. An example with SAS. Let me use the same triangle 345 and say, hey, show me the triangle 394. Two sides and the angle between them and put the result in the least variable L1, there. That is our triangle. We know 3 in 90, 04, 37, 5 and 53 degrees. An example with SSA. This problem often has two solutions. Check it out. You know S1, S2 and angle 2, right? And by the solution to that exercise could also be this one. So as long as S1 is longer, than S2 sine of A2, you're going to have two solutions. The only case in which we have only one solution is when S1 is exactly S2 multiplied by the sine of A2. What happens when sine 1 is less than S2 multiplied by the sine of A2? Well, that, that is an impossible problem. The calculator will give in that case a complex number as a solution, and that is an indicator that there is no real solution to the triangle. So we call SSA. We enter the sides 10, 20, and 7 degrees, and we collect the results in the list of variable L1. What is that? That is two triangle solution. We can extract each one of them as a separate sublist this way. T1 will be the first element of L1. That's going to be the first list. And T2, I will collect the second element of L1, which is the second solution. Let me plot the second solution here and check it out. It's 10, 7, 11, 20, 7 degrees, 10, 15, and 165.9 degrees. And the second solution, actually the first one uh, there, would be this one. 10, 159, 20, 7 degrees, 29.6, and 14 degrees. To end the presentation, I'll show you briefly the code of each one of those five programs. First, SSS. This program will be called by all the other programs. Please observe that here at the top, I send the calculator to work in degrees mode. So all these programs work exclusively in degrees mode. SSA is probably the most interesting of the five programs. If S1 is greater or equal than S2 multiplied by the sine of A2, then we have two solutions issued out here and here sum of two values, and the other is the difference of those two values. Check out how lists are manipulated there. SAS, SAA, and ASA are very straightforward programs. I invite you to read them carefully. Few times after I have already produced a video, I feel the need to go back and create an addendum. This is one of those cases. Thanks to a viewer of this YouTube channel, Mr. Carson Rowan, for providing this information. How to extract the results out of the Prime app for triangles? I am in awe of this HP Prime. The more I learn of it, the more I like it. While following Mr. Rowan's instructions, I went on exploring features and, accidentally, I hid the reason why SSS, SAS, SSA, ASA, and SAA are not to be used. Why? Because they already exist in the machine. They coded that. Hooray! Keep watching. Let me make a comment. Does this mean that whatever was said at the beginning of this video is useless? I don't think so. SSSX, SASX, and all the others that we've introduced here work with symbols, while the native SSS, SAS, and all the others seem to work only with numbers. Tutorial time. Let's have a go at the 3, 4, 5 triangle again, but using the native HP Prime way. Here's a triangle. Those are the sides. Let me select uh, the triangle solver. First things first. And then we go to home mode and type SSS 345. Not X, no. I am calling the native SSS inside the calculator. It works only if triangle solver has been selected. You see the triangle solver title at the top? I click enter. I have a solution. What is it showing me? It is showing me the three missing angles. The angle in front of three, 
37 degrees, the angle in front of 4, 53 degrees, and the angle in front of 5, 90 degrees, and that makes total sense to me. Let me try that again with ASA and the same triangle, 3, 4, 5. The angles 37, 53, and 90 degrees, you already know that. Let me choose the two angles at the bottom and the side between them. 53, 3, and 90 degrees. Let me call ASA with 53 degrees, 3, and 90 degrees. That is the solution I get out of the calculator. 4, 5, and 3, 7. The missing three parameters. But who are they? They are the side in front of the first angle the side in front of the second angle, and the third missing angle. Hmm. Well, I would have to use that a few times to remember the sequence, right? The help of the app says this. ASA takes as arguments the measures of two angles and the length of the included side, returns a list containing the length of the side opposite to the first angle, the length of the side opposite to the second angle, and the measure of the third angle in that order, exactly what I said before. Let me use the graphic interface with the same triangle, the 3, 4, 5. Nothing really new. I type the sides 3, 4, and 5 already there, and I click on Solve. Sure enough, the app will compute the three angles. But what if I want to use those angles to do something else with them? What Mr. Ruins advises us is click on the VARS key and this menu appears. At the very top, you have the Triangle app. Select that. Another submenu appears. Click on Numeric and you see the names of all the variables in the calculator predefined that contain the six parameters of the triangle. Let me type the name of one of them. Angle A. Enter. 36.87 degrees, that is the value in that variable. By the way, that value is stored with all the precision of the machine. It's showing only two decimals because that is the settings in my calculator. I can compute nonsensical stuff like this square root of three times the angle B plus one fifth of angle C. Enter and I get a value. You can compute with the variables that the calculator has sold for. Let me go back there. You see that the triangle solver is highlighted. We can select reset. It asks, are you sure? And with that, we have cleared all the variables inside the app. Why? Because I want to set the three parameters, side A, side B, and angle A from outside. Sure enough, the three values we entered outside of the application are there. 10, 20, and 7 degrees. We click on solve, and sure enough, we get a solution. That is the solution of the first SSA triangle we've seen before. The sides 10, 20, and 29.6, and the angle 7 degrees, 14 degrees, and 159 degrees. But there is something interesting here. Observe here at the bottom, there is the ALT key. There is an alternate solution to this triangle. We click on that one, and we get another solution for the same sides. Side 1 is 10, side 2 is 20, side 3 is 10.15. Hey, there is a typo there. And the three sides are 7 degrees, which is not written here, 165.9 degrees, and 7.11 degrees. And that is all, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks to Mr. Rowan. And uh, I hope to meet you all again in the next movie.